don't want to... There we go. I don't want to talk to you. So what do we got up here? Thought I saw a ladder. Yep, there's a ladder over here. Let's see where this goes, if it goes anywhere interesting. It does appear to go someplace kind of interesting. There's some interesting things in here. No, no treasures. Kind of hoping for some... Uh... I feel like that's a glitch. I mean, not, not like a glitch, but... Like, they misplaced a block and never corrected it. I don't know. Serge's room should have a, cotted, uh, a potted cotton plant. Would that actually make a difference? Or is that just for de decoration? I'm not even sure if there are any potted ones left. I mean, I don't know if there are any of those left. I may have taken them all. all that. I don't need it. I don't need it. For decoration? Okay. Well, that is a fair idea. If I find any more, I will definitely consider it. What do we got here? Wooden fortification. What are these? Uh, this is just, uh, castle wall. Alright. Don't care that much about that. A helm! That's good. We can, uh, we can finally steer this ship aright. Yeah, I don't think so either. Anything interesting around? You know, I have not taken one of these yet, I don't think. Oh, big bolt, I have not. Alright. Your dog is confused. Can't decide if he wants to be inside or outside. Well, he just sounds like a, uh, a cat. I believe this is the way we came in. Yes, indeed it is. some of those, so they're not just sitting around. Got that. Alright. Just wondering if there's anything else of interest around here. think there will be, but I think we found most of the stuff, but uh, we'll uh, look a bit more, just to be sure. At least I imagine if there's going to be anything else interesting, it'll be more along the lines of, uh, later. wonder how many LPers might admit that their viewers say their pets like to listen to them, too. 
I, I imagine that there's a fair number. Probably depends a lot on what type of uh, LP -er they are. Um, well, got stuck there. I imagine some pets aren't too fond of uh, some of the louder Let's Players, depending on the uh, the pet and everything like that. Doesn't really seem like there's anything else all that interesting here. So, let's go ahead and teleport back to town. <laughs> Why does everything come later in the game? <laughs> Give me all your hearts. You found it, didn't you, Ellie? You found a seam of silver, just like I asked. Uh, miners should start bringing silver back with them now, but if you ever need a little extra, you can always go and dig some up yourself. From what the lads tell me, it seems this seems in the deepest part of the mine. Those tunnels have been abandoned for donkey's years. They were excavated before our fathers were even twinkles in our grandfather's eyes. Nobody knows what's down there anymore. Rumor has it that the children of Hargon's Grand Temple lies deep within the caves. The legends tell of menacing monsters, bizarre buildings, and goodies galore. Hmm. Now I found silver in the tunnels, all this talk of gold and treasure do doesn't seem so far-fetched. Hey, and now you've got some silver to work with. You'll be able to make some terrific treasures yourself. Goodies galore, indeed. Alright, well, let's see what we got. Okay, uh, what do you want? I heard on the vine apple vine that... You've reached an old abandoned bit of the mine, and all thanks to Goldie Rock's superhuman strength. Mm -hmm. Still, at the current rate, it's it'll take bleeding ages for the lads to dig up all the silver he needs. We gotta get him to put a rig a wriggle on. And there's one thing that's sure to get him fired up: seeing that silver bar of yours take shape. For starters, I was about setting up the bar itself. Well, you'll need five connecting counters with four stone stools pulled up to them, plus a cocktail shaker and a water jug on top. Reckon you can handle that? Of course, you ain't gonna make much progress till you have the, the floor down. Better chunk in some silver bricks and brick blocks and all. All I'm asking is for a cocktail counter with a water jug on top. If you ain't sure where to put it, just check the blueprint. Yes, I understand. I will I will get to that as soon as I can. Alright, there is nothing in there. Alright, let's get going on the silver. And let's go ahead and put the iron in. I'm actually kind of tempted to expand this uh, back a bit. I'm not sure if McGrog will uh, help out with the building if it's right up against the edge or not, but... Oh god, what did I do? Whoops. Well. Did a little bit too much. Now that'll do. Uh, let's see. Edge of the town is there. Okay, so we want to bring this back to 
here. That way we can get some more uh, furnaces going. as long as it's in town. Right, but there some people were saying that there was some uh, glitchiness about uh, it be, about buildings being too close to the edge of town or something like that. And this is outside of town, so... Still want an easy way to get up to the wall. There we go. Trowel. Well, a little bit late now. <laughs> I do need to put down the cobblestone. and Or the flagstone. And for that, I can use the uh, trowel. It's a bit fancier. Ooh, nice. Am I out of that? Yeah, I am out of that. Alright. Use the bolt you got for smithy decoration? Oh, okay. I can try that. That might be uh, pretty neat. that I missed. Let's get those. Oh, that's right. I do remember now missing those because I was I had those down the uh, the furnace down already. There we go. Just a large room now. Let's do that. I need to make a few more of these. Four of them should be good. Nothing like a ceiling that can support itself without any base. some different stuff up there. I guess for now we don't need too many, but we're going to want uh, at least that. Um... Nah, that's... 
not what I want. I kind of dislike how big these things are. Like, they really feel like they should be able to fit in a 2x2 two two space. that. Let's get that there. Um, or at least if you could, like, put something in the corner right there. sure if that really helped much, but you can definitely put that there. I need the pots. Where are you, pots? I'm completely missing the pots. There you are. Take that out. That might be uh, kind of useful. Take those out, because those will be uh, some fancy things. Bigger is better challenge, yep. I wonder what it would... Whether it would like the uh, iron. Okay, I think we can... Alright, so let's see. We got uh, copper, iron, silver, and eventually gold. So, yeah, that would probably be... Fine, we don't really need more at the moment. It's not even, it feels like it needs to be even. There we go. He'll need all those for forges. Well, I figure that glass... I mean, you can do so much. I can, I can like, swap out the copper one time or something like that. Let's put that there. Is this going to clip? That is going to clip. So I don't want that. doesn't seem to add any fanciness. Guess you can't go, you can't get it uh, sideways. Still, we'll put it there. Uh, let's see. Couple pots. Get another one of those. Do I have any more bags? Uh, I got these bags. There we go. Any more lights that I need? No, not really. All right, I like that. Okay. Put those in there. Miner's tools? I suppose we could, yeah. I'll go look for some of those. some more uh, glass in. It'll be a while before we get gold anyway. So that, that glass should 
I think that glass will keep me for a little while. Why are you doing it from the side? You're, you're clipping into the chain! Alright, I think I need to move that chain. Let's move the chain. Eh, it clips a little bit, though. Yeah, that's better. Oh, no, no. Can, can I... Uh, let's actually swap tools. There we go. Okay. I guess we won't put the chain in here. Try hanging the chain high up outside the smithy. I'd have to put an overhang. Um, which that gives me an idea. Thank you. Uh, I think we'll we'll make some columns out of it. We dug up a shed load of metal today. Well, in lads. All right, time to crack on with the accumulation declaration. I've set aside any share already, which comes out to 88 lumps of coal, 33 chunks of iron, 25 chunks of copper. 12 chunks of silver, and that's all. Here's your share, Goldie Rocks, 123 lumps of silver. Thank you, me need 2,753 more lumps of silver, then me become Silver Golem. Well, okay, technically it's 2,753.834 lumps, but I rounded. I rounded down, I'd be nice. Alright, that's the declaration done for today. Good work, lads. Treat yourselves to a jigger or two. We got another big day of digging tomorrow. Alright, while... It, 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 oh, right. I can't do that while inside a... a, a building. Uh, lower level. The old lift. You don't think they add anything other... That's, it's a shame that they don't add anything other than that. Really? Wrong tool. Oh, get me, get me stone or something, you fool. There we go. Got what I want there. I don't really have any signs, although although I suppose I could put some uh, bolts out. Well, that's the wrong piece. Where are my iron blocks? No, fix it. Okay, there's my chains. I need the uh, the lights out again. Where are they? Oh, there they are. There we go. So it makes uh makes essentially some columns, although. I kind of feel like that should be higher.
There we go. For now, I'll maybe make another layer eventually. All right. Uh, we need... Some more of that. All right, that's all we can make right now. Um, I suppose I could go just collect the rest of the... the silver that's available. Okay, uh, climbing up that every time I go out might be a problem. Might end up being a problem. All right, let's make one of those. Um, I can make three of these. What else do I need? Can't make those yet. So for this, I need medicinal leaves and frog stools. Okay. Alright, looks like I don't really have anything else to that I need to... I need at the moment. At least, nothing else that I have the recipes for. See what we can uh, build in this in this area here. I'm gonna need a lot more silver blocks so that I can uh, tile over the uh, pool of the the pool bottom. As well. No, nope, get away. Well, all right, I guess we'll take an instant kill. Oops. You know what? I do kind of feel like uh, laying down the flooring a bit first. You know what I should do is... Yes, get away, get away. Set down some torches so that we at least have light in this area. We can remove the torches later. <laughs> Maurel's just uh, sleeping on the floor. Alrighty, let's see. Well, that's not many left. Okay, well, that's all of that. But I have enough here. Um, let's see, I need you. Uh, I don't know if I can put those down yet, but I might as well pull them out. Actually, you know what? I can put these down already. That'll get us some uh, nice light. Build a room around the sleeping Malroth, then put a wrecking ball in it. That's mean. Uh, so to be fair, it's it's definitely something that I would I would probably do at some point. Uh, let's see what else do we need. Um, I need that. I need those. That appears to be about it. All right. Alright, so... 
Connecting counters. That is right here. Yep. Interesting how it's already, like, putting them in the proper alignment. These are just right in front. Uh, dining tables I might be able to put in over here. Yep. I can get these in. Oh, right there. Alright. Right there, and right there. Okay. So we at least have that taken care of. And can't do the deck chairs yet. I got the barrels. I got the carafe collections. The cocktail shaker needs to go right there. That is now a cocktail counter. Water jug goes right there. The improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they'll mine more metal. Blueprints will force the correct orientation connections when you place on them. It's handy. Den and Surge still need their own rooms. Well, a lot of people need their own rooms. I'm probably going to build it up on top of the... Um, the dormitory. Starting to work with the counter, Ellie. After a few glasses of Digger's Jigger and a quick dip, the lads will be set for another day of our digging. Speaking of digging, the old town's buzzing about these deep, dark tunnels you've opened up. It actually reminds me of an old crumbled on legend, a sorrowful story of unrequited love. I'll tell it to you, tell it you if you like. Want to hear it? Sure. All right, then here goes. Once upon a time, a maiden with beautiful locks and long flowing hair showed up on Crumble Dun. Before long, she'd fallen head over ears in love with the most handsomest geezer on the old island. Well, this bloke was like, was a bit of a man about town, if you know what I mean. The maiden's affections turned to jealousy and, and then hatred. And one night, in an eightful rage, she tied her heir into a silky soft ponytail, strangled a poor biter in his sleep, and ran away into the mine, never to be seen again. Don't worry, it ain't a true story. Just something the miners made up. Well, you'd never guess it to look at us, but us crumble dunners have got a romantic side, too. I don't know if that's a romantic side. Now then, I've got another favor to ask. What with a new pub on the way and more tunnels to explore? We could do with a few more miners. Fancy giving that bell a ring? Well, if we get a few new faces in town, not only will me bar be, a, be even more buzzing, but the miners will dig up even more metal, too. And if I ain't mistaken, you'll also learn a, learn a few more tricks of that other building trade. It's one of, the, one of them win-win situations, isn't it? If you want to take care of a few more odds and ends first, I won't hold it against you. Just ring that bell when you're done. I gotta hand it to you, Ellie. The bell really worked its magic this time. Six new faces. With this many miners, we'll be digging up more metal than ever. Maybe we can even delve deeper into the caves. Listen, Ellie, I've realized that all that talk about the miners bringing misery on their own heads was a load of old cobblers. But Sheldon Argon said that the glint of metal sowed the seeds of greed in our hearts. And made us scrape every, sc scrap over every scrap. I said a uh, light had blinded us to the truth. <laughs> But that ain't true at all. The sparkle of silver and the glimmer of gold is what gives us hope. We don't burn the bridges between us, it builds them. We need metal more than more than ever before. We've got to bring the Golden Age back to Crumble Dun. <laughs> Romantically horrifying. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, looks like there's a couple more uh, quests that people want us to do. Uh, what do you want, McGrog? Oh, it's good to see your smiling face, Ellie. That grin of yours never seems to fade. Well, that, that's because it's that's just the way I'm drawn. So perhaps you've the perfect you're the perfect person to help me out with something. I want everyone around here to smile a bit more, no matter how hard uh, life in a mining town can be. If we had a card table near the pool. It might be a nice little morale booster. Those fellows love their games, especially when they're playing for stakes. Yeah, I I got it already. 
It's already sketched out in your blueprint, right? Just put a couple of stone stools around a stone table, stick a pack of playing cards on top, and Bob's your uncle. Bob's not my uncle. No, actually, I do have an Uncle Bob. So, you're right. No, Bob is my uncle. You're right. My bad. Things get, can get pretty heated when the lads play with cards, so you better reinforce the floor with some heavy-duty iron blocks so it can withstand a sore loser's stomps. And rust once we actually get the water in here. Thanks, Ellie. When the miners see it, I'm sure they'll be grinning from ear to ear. Not that you can ever see their faces to find out. There is one way of telling whether they're enjoying themselves, though. The more the townsfolk like what you've done with the building, the more gratitude they gi they'll give you. Everyone needs a smile after a stressful day. Just look at Babs and how hard she works. I don't know how she does it. Not only has she got her, her dad and this pub to worry about, she's put on that rabbit suit to keep the miners contented. And to top it off, she fights the monsters as well. But don't get your wires crossed. It's not like I like her. Like her. I just really, really like her. Babs is my angel, my light in the darkness. So if you're thinking of having her all to yourself, you could get right out of it. You're weird. <laughs> oh, we discussed this. Fantasy metal never rusts. Hey, Babs. Hello, Ellie. How is the building work coming along? Nice and smoothly, I hope. Which is more than I can say for me signature pub grub. I just can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I want to try as many different ingredients as possible so I can come up with the perfect crumbled on dish, but them bonfires ain't up to the job. If I had a frying pan, I could cook stuff together and make maybe make a breakthrough. Could you make me one, Ellie? Once you've made it, just whack it on top of one of me bonfires in the mushroom cook room. Then I can start working on me recipes. Eureka! Ellie learns a new recipe! Frying pan, furniture, a cast iron skillet suitable for the discerning chef. But I can't use it to hit Yang! Use with a bonfire to cook food. And what do you want? Ellie, if I ask you a serious question, will you give me, me an honest answer? Does Babs look unhappy to you? Like she's put out, out about something? You what? You reckon this place must be a paradise for an intelligent girl like her? Being chased around by a load of hard fighting, hard farting meatheads? Wait, you ain't being sarcastic, are you? I never can tell when you're winding me up. Anyway, she looks upset to me. Must be all the sand around here. Stuff gets everywhere. Well, it, no, I, I I think it's because she wants to, to cook more. That's where you come in. I need you to put together a shower room so Babs can tell all that, that can tell all that scratchy sand to absolutely do one. If Babs is gonna shower in style, the walls have gotta be made of silver brick blocks. As for the location, somewhere by the silver bar might be a good spot. And you just gotta fill it with a shower, a folding screen, and a tower rail. Pop them all inside and you're done. Eureka! Ellie learns a new recipe! How I come up with a shower, I don't know. A nozzle that shoots out a stream of water when someone approaches. It can be used to wash. Alright, doesn't look like there's anyone else that... Oh, wait. I need to actually, uh... Make the thingies. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have some of those, so I don't need more. And I need silver ingots. Five silver ingots for that. Yep. Now we'll need more slime oil. Yeah. I think I have four of those. Uh, I need five. Actually, I should probably leave one cook fire. So that we can actually get the regular stuff, too. Holy cow, that's a... That is a really tall frying pan. <laughs> that's as tall as my head! Just look at that! Dry grass can be used to cook something? Hmm. I'll have to try that. Oh, look at that! You put the frying pan on top of me bonfire, just like I asked. Now I can cook two ingredients together. Now then, Ellie, here's a recipe I've been just dying to give a whirl. Mind helping me find the ingredients? We'll need some mushrooms and some succulent slabs of meat. Them bunny corns you see up and about the desert look like they got some tasty cuts on them. 
Actually, the recipe is so simple you could even whip it up for me. Just put a mushroom and some meat on the frying pan and give it a sizzle. That's all there is to it. Building a better bonfire. Put a frying pan on top of a bonfire and you'll be able to cook two ingredients together. Alright, we'll leave one so that there can be other things. Alright, well they did cook spectacular shrooms on a stick. I don't know that they collected any. But, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and grab that for now. Alright, uh, food ingredients. We want that meat. Let's take that meat out. Take all of these out. Take the, uh, Glumgusses out. I need more cactus steaks, too. And I think I am out of oil. So let's take the dried grass, and someone said that we could use that. Nope, oh, there's some oil. Hmm, I wonder if we could do anything with the fur. Let's not try that. Okay, so, uh, we cannot use the grass fiber. We can use the, uh, the dry grass. But, uh, let's go ahead and put that in, and put that in. And we'll go ahead and cook that up. And let's go ahead and put that in, and we'll put that in. Okay. Meat and oil. Okay. Oh, I should actually cook that. Uh, and we can use the frog stools. Okay. I feel like I should do this at night. Okay, one thing is done. I'll just wait until they're all done. Oh, neat. Boy, that third one is pretty slow. the food while getting run through with frying pan handle. Always fun. Indeed. Holy cow, that's a lot of monster munchies. Take a look at what that is in a moment. Our first schnitzel. Tastier turf and trough. And my first turf and trough. Yeah, where, where are you? Where are you, Babs? Oh, were you up there? <laughs> I thought something smelled good. That's exactly the kind of pub grub I had in mind. Can I have a closer look at it? Uh, hand this over? Sure. Hi. Turf and trough, you call it? It looks bleeding scrumptious. The lads are gonna love it. I just hope it, it it's the spot after an hard day's digging or dealing out the drinks in me dad's case. All that hard work must really take it out of him. Yeah, you reckon it's nice of me to put everyone's elf first? Don't get me wrong, Ellie. This ain't just food. It's fuel. The more good grub they get get down them, the more metal they'll be able to mine. Anyway, thanks for helping me with with me dish. If I start practicing the recipe right away, I'll be able to make it all by all by myself in no time. Food ain't just for filling an empty stomach, you know. It can have other benefits, too. So expand your palate. You might be surprised by what you find out. Is there a place that I can look at my recipes? So I'm kind of curious.